Hello and welcome to the Dragon Way podcast, where we showcase the culture of the MSUM Dragons football program through the lens of those who lived it while they played and how they're living it today. I'm Wade. I'm your host. And I bet you could guess it, but I like B-dubs. For those of you who don't know what the Dragon Way is, simply it's four things Dragon football focuses on to create men of character. Do what's right, find a way, be a great teammate, and keep getting better. That's the Dragon Way. Here to talk about their experience playing for Dragon football and living the Dragon Way today is DeAndre Taylor, a.k.a. Dre. Thanks for joining us, Dre. What's going on with you? You know, why don't you let the people know where you're at, what you're doing? Kind of give us a little update since we last had you, you know, on the on the show last fall. Definitely. Uh, thanks for having me, coach, or former coach, I guess now. Um, but now <clears throat> I'm still on Fargo, actually. Um, I'm at a doctor program here at UMary uh, for occupational therapy. So I'm just, I just started my second year this past summer. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm also working for a vocational training center and I'm supporting uh, individual with disabilities. Just kind of been hanging out with them, <clears throat> hanging out with them, taking them out in the community and whatnot. Other than that though, I just kind of been hanging alone, doing my own thing. I'm busy with school and work. Right on. Cool. All right, man. Well, shoot, don't want to take too much of your time tonight. So just kind of roll into the questions here. Okay. So so first one, you know, what were you looking for in a football program when you started the recruiting process? I mean, ultimately, I mean, I was kind of just looking for another home, to be honest with you. I, was, I wanted someone who wanted me for who I was, you know, as an as a individ, individual human being. And as a player, you know, a lot, of, a lot of colleges, like, pushed me away because my height, I was only 5'10", and they wanted, like, a six foot six one corner, which was, like, whatever. But, you know, I had a heart, so I knew what my ability to play was and how I play. And, I, you know, MSUM – came around my senior year of high school and they showed the most interest truly. I mean, they were like kind of the only ones that showed me interest. Um, Coach Cook was the first one to kind of stop by. He he came to my school um, about three times, I think. So that kind of really stood out to me. I was like, wait, you came, you came all the way to Illinois, which is a 10 hour drive to kind of talk to me continuously. And then Fatlin, um, former coach there, he kind of got in contact with me as well. And he started texting me and calling me before games, after games, seeing how I was. And then kind of when I got on my visit, Fallon kind of just took me. He showed me the way. He showed me around, uh, brought me to some of the guys' his house, kind of introduced me to them so I can get a feel of what it was like to be a Dragon football player. And that was that was really, really cool to me at the time. You know, he just left with them. So I got to do whatever. And I got to part, uh, be a part of, like, their conditioning at the time. I did some seven-on-sevens. So to me, I felt already as a part of the team. So I was like, okay, like, this is this is somewhere I can see myself being for the next four years, you know, and whatnot. And then kind of just from there on, history writes itself. No doubt. So how did Dragon football meet those expectations and where did they exceed those expectations? Um, just kind of it built a ton of relationships, you know, whether that was like players, coaches, trainers. Um, I was got to be able to bond with so many different people and whatnot. Um, and even on like, the football field, the coaches and the players, they pushed me at such a high level to be who I was there, you know. I wanted to I wanted to be the best DB in the conference. I wanted to be the best DB. Like I, I felt like no one was gonna beat me. And they knew that, that I had that mentality. So the coaches pushed me to that mentality to the highest level to compete, which I felt better me as a, a player and just as a human being in general. So I, I appreciate that because it, it turned out to be a good player who I was at MSUM. No doubt. So kind of a question just building off that. Um, what's different about Dragon football? Ah. Uh, <clears throat> what's different is just the coaching you know um they push you to a mentality in the weight room that you know like they they don't want you to succeed but they want you to see at the same time you know they're gonna they're, it's gonna be a grind they're gonna push you to fail but it's kind of how you how you perceive how you try to perceive through those things and fight through adversity and whatnot and so that, that i thought it was different you know they kept it, everything was real to me from my perspective from the coaches um the players they they, they was everyone was bought in and stuff so that to me was kind of what helped me get through the program and stuff. For sure. All right. Uh, what, what part of the dragon football culture and the dragon way connected with you the most? Um, I would have to say kind of just a find a way mentality. I felt like, you know, throughout my four years, there may have been a lot of diversity, whether that was off the field or, you know, playing games, but it was just more, okay, we, we're here. So how do we bounce back? Are we, better are we going to figure figure it out figure it out you know find a way and that was kind of what stuck to me as I've 
as I've grown as a player and as a person, it was just, okay, you know, life is all about ups and downs. You know, it's going to happen. Stuff that you can't control is going to happen. It's just, okay, what can I do next? I can only control the things that I can control. I can't worry about that. I can't worry about this. What can I do to better myself as a human being or just better the situation in general? Love it. So how have you applied what you learned while in the Dragon football program to your life today? Um, <clears throat> that's just in school, you know, school in general, uh, you know, being in this OT program, it's not easy. Um, it's difficult. It, there's long weeks, there's long days, you know, the semesters are long and it's just like, when is it going to end to be honest with you? And I just have to know that I have to take things day by day. I can't worry about things four days in advance, two weeks in advance. I can't worry about finals or projects. I have to worry about what's in front of me today. What do I need to do, do today to be the best that I can? And that's kind of just how I thought about it. Just after ending football, football was my whole like whole like life for a while. Now it's something different. And I kind of had to apply that from what I got from football to just bring in OT and then now just in like life in general. How, how did you change from before Dragon football to now because of that experience? Um, I just say I'm matured as a person. You know, I look on life differently. Like I said, just taking things day by day. Um, and I just try to be a better person each day. What can I do to improve? Um, I, I try to keep those relationships, reach out to those who meant a lot to me at Dragon football. Um, ultimately, just mature as a, a, as a better person. So I can, I can, I can, you know, give back to the community at some time, just be able to learn what I have learned from Dragon football and, and preach it on to them. Well, all right, Jay, Dre, well, man, we know you're, you're plenty busy with what everything you got going on. Um, so, you know, I just want to give you, give you a big thanks for, for joining us, joining us today and, and uh, you know, talking about your journey and um, you know, I, I'm sure there's a, there's a big number of us that wish you nothing but the best here going forward, um, finishing your doctorate, you know, now everyone will know who the real Dr. Dre is. Right. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, just keep impacting the community in a positive way. Like you have been, um, doing, doing the work that you have and, and your vocational training and all that. And yeah, man, I just, thanks again. Appreciate it. Wade. Thank you guys for having me tonight. You know, I mean, dragon football meant a lot to me. You were there for a lot of it. So I appreciate it. No doubt. All right, you can listen to the Dragon Way podcast on Apple, Spotify, and of course at msumdragons.com and the MSUM Dragons app. If you believe like I do that something great is happening at Dragon Football, please subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe, and share the show. Until next time, do what's right, find a way, be a great teammate, and keep getting better. That's the Dragon Way. Thanks for listening, and go Dragons.